December, especially right <laughs> during. You too, you too. We back here with another motherfucking reaction. We have our motherfucking boys uh, playback. <laughs> Nick Cannon nuts must be stopped. Okay. Right before Christmas, I start fucking like crazy, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and okay. that's when it like so. I, I broke the celibacy, but I was probably celibate for probably like a month and a half strong. I mean, you were there. I was trying to do it. Yeah. I had a new show, new A energy. month and a half I strong. He said I was there. Like, so, I was every so day. Like, I, don't I, you do it. It must be so nice. Over 22, so around the holidays, we should expect, be expecting some, uh, September, some packages October to be dropped on the way. Store, huh? <laughs> yeah. Let me y'all, ask you this. Y'all are pretty good at math. <laughs> In an interview with Hip Hop DX. <laughs> the long zone went was like six and a half months. Oh, my God. Kenan addressed the possibility of having a vasectomy after he told E! News he's seen a doctor to weigh his options. They scared me a little bit. It will take some more convincing. I took the initiative just to see what they was talking about. Let's just say I went on the first date, but we are not committed. But if Kenan is expecting child number 11, he might want to make an appointment sooner than later. All right, In addition to Zion, <laughs> Zillion, and the lady. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. How the hell you forget that? Fucking beef with Nick Cannon by himself. Cause Nick Cannon was definitely not trying to get bored. Oh, I forgot hey. about that. You know, Nick Cannon was like, "You got it, dog." No, you I right, forgot he's right. from Canada and hey, shit. Miraculous. Hey, you're right, man. This was your chick, man. You're right, man. Hey, man, you got me out of the bar, man. You're right, man. That nigga Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you were trying to do. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, man. Man, man you got me on that other bar, man. Said, Fuck, man. I don't know why man. niggas coming at me now. Then, Cannon is dad to 11-year-old twins Monroe and Moroccan with ex-wife Mariah Carey, as well as five-year-old Golden Sagon and one-year-old hey. powerful queen with Brittany Bell. But do you think Nick Cannon will ever stop it? having children? Should he stop? Do you think Nick Cannon will ever stop? No. <laughs> you know, in, in third world countries, it's actually useful in a lot of I'm surprised I don't got no kids yet. Shit crazy. Whatever, a lot of times they have to drop out of school to help the family because, like, the some of them passed away, like, but they're useful because they get things done. They go grab water, they go grab things they can use and sell. So, in a lot of countries, having 11 kids is financially. I be trying to tell way. people that, bro. But in a first world country, it's the opposite. But you know, the very interesting part about this is first world countries actually aren't having enough kids. So, even though they're not in optimal situations, we actually need more people in good situations to have kids. But kids are becoming so expensive, nobody wants to do it. So, first world countries need to have more kids, aren't having enough, and even when they are, they're not in optimal situations. And it, it's, it's like an interesting conundrum between what's good for the country and what's good for That's the That's what I'm saying. If so I get richer and I'm having a lot of kids. Nick Cannon's in the country. But it's not awesome. Okay, they all do the same thing or they all do yeah, different things. Not, not they go do something. Not 11. No, 840. No, he if you could afford him, 40. He can't. No cap. For That's real? Joe Biden wants. Hey, I'm you stop you. it at, yo, Nick, just stop it at You should stop it at A no, um, million. Been if you could afford it, millions. I'm telling you. I wish I could have millions. That should be cold. Oh, arm. No, I'm saying. 25 years later, you'll have a whole arm and your back. But why? Why? Can't you're right. You I'm not defending out, it. I'm just saying that's what. Why can't you pull out? Why not have a second me? Why not have a wear condom? Like, why? <laughs> no, because you know they always say that's a popular month because people have sex during the holidays. Yeah. And so, okay, have you ever thought you had a baby and it turned out not to be yours? Hmm. I don't think. What the fuck is he thinking about? We know the answer, Nick. Of course you have, because us regular people have had that happen. <laughs> so you serial sex haver with every woman raw, you definitely had that. You definitely had what you think about how you he should say it on the Nick, podcast? You're Nick Cannon. You, you think about Nick, how you should say it. I got pregnant and I know you, nigga. I'm fucking you next, nigga, so I can put that baby in. No cap. What? If I got pregnant. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I'm fucking the nigga in the next to put the baby on the day because he's trying to get me pregnant. I'm doing that shit ASAP. I'm popping, you know, from where I came from. I'm popping. I'm, you know, 19, 20 years old. Rover. I got a Range Rover. <laughs> all that. Briefly. I got, I got a new crib and all of that stuff. Yeah. And the girl that I went to school with was from the hood. Was in love with her. She comes to the house. She's mind blown. Boom, we have sex. She's like, as soon as we have sex, she's like, I'm pregnant. 
I'm like, wait, wait, that's impossible. Wait, what? She's like, I know how fertile I am. I can't really. I'm like, so be a menace, whatever. <laughs> Yo, and literally. Not even a month later, she really was pregnant. Pregnant. And I'm like, and I'm trying. This is at a time. I'm about to be 21 years old. I'm like. Yo, I'm not she ready connected, for a connected to her body. I was like, God, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but and I, you know, respectfully, I was like, I'm in my first pregnancy, scared, bro. Right. I'm not, but I thought I was gonna die. It's difficult for me to have a child right now, but if this is what we doing, this is what we and doing. And you were back I was, with your on, I was still on Nickelodeon. I was like, how? bro, the first time a girl said she thought she was pregnant, bro. I'm about to say that's for a story time. Oh, bro, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, how am I gonna explain this to Nickelodeon? A, a a smoke talk, but bro. over the next couple months or whatever, we I was like, all right, I'm ready for the kid. Uh, and I actually I remember going to church and I was like, Lord, I don't know if you could get me out of this. I promise <laughs> I'm gonna be celibate. I'm not. Oh, we're not gonna man. do the abortion that thing or none of that. <laughs> but whatever. Let's yo, yo, you see, yo, like the God like that is crazy. Hey, God is like, look, bro. I already got you covered, bro. You ain't gotta keep lying. To me. Hey, you know what the fuck the part is? Uh, and then unfortunately, it was crazy. I, I, right, like a week later, you know, because she was in college, and I would go to her dorm. And she, it was a tough night. She was like, "I miscarried." I was like, "Damn!" Yes. And then <laughs> see your ass. You were like, then, "Are you there?" Wow. <laughs> I miscarried. <laughs> like, Damn. It like went through my head, right? Then I was like. Damn, but I wanna go really say done. That's why I kinda left. I was like, damn. 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 Yes. And then <laughs> so that's, that's actually that's like your what would possess you to say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she better say like that's what I thought. Yo, you what you like said in your head. Oh, yeah, what's up? That sounds like a 2K combinator. The kid has no life anymore. Yes! Ah! That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. This story is getting. Tell me more of this dramatic story. I'm gonna celebrate all of it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with which Yo, one said that? Damn. I think that was Angela. <laughs> Laid up. Oh my and then, god! And then she says, miscarriage. God damn. Ew. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> Man, it was a hard fart. <laughs> I did not mean it like that. I mean, because Kobe does this, man. You know, he scores just to make that clear. Sucks he died because, you know, people use his name for a lot of shit, okay? Just think about how crazy the yes man. is. Rest you have no affiliation. You have no yet. Yeah. I know that's like Nick can't even see that. He's smiling. He's great. <laughs> how would you see as a woman? Like that's, oh my god. Anyway, that's so sad. See your ass. You were like, "Are you there, God?" Yeah, and I was like, I, "So I'm like, but soon as like I have made this covenant with God, but I was back out in the streets oh, soon, as, and then literally uh, two days later, she's like." I'm still pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, you're playing with me. So she was pregnant Bro, with twins. What the fuck? Whoa, what? What story is this? Why are you blaming God? Nigga! <laughs> Nick, Nick, here. There's no way you yeah, yeah, promise. Wait, and you lied. No yeah, one you really lied. lied. This nigga lied. You lied. He's like, fucking baby's gone. Fucking women again, bro. That whole celebrity shit I just told you, God, lied to you. I can't. I can't. Just so you can see it through, my boy. You did that. <laughs> you you telling me God then came back and said, see, I got you, son. Don't worry about it. I need you. I'm going to test 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 you. I'm going to test
shit. How the fuck you get back out in two days? Two bro? days is crazy. You couldn't wait two days. You couldn't even try to lie to yourself about your lie. Plus, you lied to God. How you not lie to yourself? You can't even commit to that. They were pregnant. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, you playing with me. So she was pregnant with twins. And she was like, yo, now I got to be on bed rest mm -hmm. for, you know, for the rest of the pregnancy. And she's on bed rest. So I said, long story short, I'll never forget this day. I was in London filming. And she gives me a call. And she's like, yo, wildest thing. You know what I mean? This is the craziest day of my life. She was like, you know, I woke up, you know, bleeding, which is unfortunate. Planes flying into buildings. Ah, this is the worst day ever. Plane, I'm in London. Planes flying in it was 9-11. And that's how, like, she's the one that told me. And it was, I was in London. It was the middle of the day. And it was still. And she told me on 9-11 that she miscarried the, the second, again. The twins. The second and then, twin. so, story even gets crazy. I mean, we were still cool, so. She called back, like, I'm still pregnant. <laughs> Yo, so. <laughs> she, she can't, like, what, what, what are y'all joking like, about? My bad, I just said the deal, so. Hey, bro, 9-11, jokes go out the window. I mean, no, you don't want to say that. But you, you know, joke but about you, most you, things. But no, no. You, but it's not you, even a good joke. But why? But even if you're going to hold the standard up, I'm not going to joke about 9-11. Why are you been joking about a mystery? That's why that doesn't make any sense. It's literally the same premise. People are dumb. I'm so confused. Bro, I'm, I just... Yeah, I have a podcast. Yeah, right. If someone tells a story this serious, I'm not cracking jokes Fuck. throughout the story. No, I, I just definitely crossed the line. I've waited until yeah. it was appropriate. They're trying to appeal to me, it's so hard. What the fuck is going on? Call her and she was like, yeah, hey. so uh, it's been a while. I don't know. know. Like, so I'm about to have his baby. I don't know, hey, but hey, clearly they, they do. What the fuck do you mean you're about to have his baby? She this literally, she literally had a baby. I can't wait right to tell my right story. After that last week, with her dude, who was like her dude, she was in a relationship with. Oh, you were the side piece. I was the side piece thing okay. because I was, we went, I was popping. Yeah, I was right. in Hollywood. Yeah. She was still living in San Diego, all of that stuff. So her going to going to school. So by that time, she had a baby. Like literally the same time that our baby would have been born, maybe like a month off, and probably for the first. Probably for the first two or three years, I, I, I was looking at, like she, luckily the little girl looked just like her daddy. Like, right. Like, so you was like, are you sure? Light, light eyes. Like this. But I, I treated that little girl like it was like you know my daughter. Like even I, I see pictures now. Like she's in, like damn near like twenty now. You know what I mean? Like, and it just don't you do it, Nick? <laughs> silly. <laughs> No. Hey, look, look, not even a bad. It's a bold joke. Hey, look, I'm not Whoa. mad at it, Angela. I'm not mad at that joke. But man, that's a that's a crazy joke. Now you got some balls, Angela. That's a that's a that's a very crazy <laughs> joke. That's our own, bro. You got some balls. That's all right. That's because he just sat there and said, "I look at her like my daughter." Yo, that's a that's a bold. Joke. <laughs> Why they trying? That's a bold. That's a bold joke, right? Ken, why they trying you, man? That's a bold joke. No, but in that in that sense, it was like to me, everybody. Because during that time, my mom was like, "That ain't your baby." Like she, right. like she was never pregnant in the first. How you gonna be having a miscarriage and all of a sudden pregnant? Like and nobody believed her story because it just was, was so, so crazy. Right. And then the fact that she had a baby right immediately after. after that. So that's probably the closest thing I ever had where somebody was. But I treated that little because you know for I don't know where they were. Get, I like, treated her like that was my daughter until her pops stepped Do you up. get tests? Like, are you like, okay, let me at least make sure. Uh, I would be offended if somebody yeah, was like. Yeah, I, I have. I'm going to be honest. People always tell me to. Everybody that says they're pregnant by me, I'm like, <laughs> I believe like, right, I mean, I'm like, hope. Children. You won't get a foot. This is the most it's irresponsible. I don't know what other million irresponsible people no, should plenty think. worse than this. I don't know. Yes. This is the most irresponsible shit I've ever With kids? Maybe yes. Yes. Well, in life, no. Okay. I don't, I don't be knowing. I'm not a millionaire until I'm like, I just inspired to be.
Want to, just touch them, but Nick Cannon, bro, you need to work through no. your issues. Yes, live the life you want. No, but they can do it anyway. But be re- no, just be responsible in the way you live. We need to get into the women. Like, just think, they know what they want to do. I guess, because like at the end of the day, like that, that's also like like eight irresponsible women. Maybe maybe seven, because I don't more I care to mention. So it's like seven irresponsible women just going around fucking Nick Cannon, having a child by them, knowing that they're about to raise kids on their own. That is crazy to me. What if they had a show that MTV had a show like that? That would be fire. Fire, nigga. Wow. Basketball wives, Nick Cannon, baby mamas, or whatever fucking that Nick Cannon wives, the Cannon family? No. <laughs> Roman got I, check. I'm not, I'm not trolling. I'm not trolling. I'm not trolling out of the day shit wrong with that. The Cannon family's crazy. <laughs> the Cannon and family. MTV is in Viacom. So no, he, I, I was really about connected. I was really about to say, nigga, fuck um, Wild and Out, bro. I'm, I'm tired of that. It's a bunch of rerun after rerun. I want to see Cannon family. I want to see you travel from state to state taking care of these children. I want to see that, man. I want to see how you actually do it, bro. I want to see you do that, bro. I'll pay you. I will, I will watch it and hopefully you get paid enough money to where you can stop doing everything else just for me to see the logistics of you trying to take care of these children, bro. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. This is just irresponsible. Yeah. There's no other way it. The word actually, irresponsible should be more written. Yeah, it actually gets more irresponsible than that. You go ahead and click this video right here. <clears throat> you find out how. Appreciate y'all for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.